this is an event, and it's only an event, and all of you that are here, who are here today have signed that pledge to never commit, condone, or remain silent about violence against women. I think the fact that we've got such a range of people signing up from uh, the very young, the students' unions, uh, to the National Farmers' Union, to choirs, to sports, it just means now that this message is finally, finally getting out there. And to have the UN ambassador, one of Ban Ki-moon's ambassadors, recognise the work that happened in Wales, and he did that last year, and then to come along and suddenly produce, you know, this Welsh white ribbon uh, in recognition of all the work that we're doing here really, really, for me, was the icing on the cake. Because now when I ask people to wear a white ribbon, I can ask them to wear a white ribbon that says in Wales, we as a community are starting finally to appreciate uh, what this means, uh, domestic abuse, that it is a, a big problem, but more importantly, that people support it. Imagine, if you like, a world without any violence against women. What would it be like? Lovely, she said. Give me a few other words. Right. 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 Enlightened. Enlightened. Peaceful. One of the sh most shocking responses I got was normal. And you just suddenly realise that's exactly what we're talking about. Getting the world back to being normal. Uh, through this campaign we are spreading the message that violence against women is totally unacceptable by encouraging men and groups that consist of a large male membership such as rugby and football clubs and the farming unions to speak out against violence uh, against women and to help create a culture change so that it isn't tolerated anymore. Today was fantastic. I think that the fact that people came, that they signed up, that they came from all over Wales because those people that couldn't be here sent their posters so they're here uh, certainly in spirit if they couldn't physically be here.